Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a tour of my journal kit, and I thought I would include what I keep in my Delphonics pouch with that. Um, so let's get started. Um, first of all, I actually have everything set in a way where it's kind of in tiers of journaling. So if I really wanted to keep the most simplest setup for journaling, I have everything I need in my journal. Um, it, the pockets have little bits and pieces that I could use. I've got a washi card in there. I've got scissors. Everything I need that's just basically for the most simplest journaling, I can just grab my traveler's notebook and do that. And then second tier journaling would be this Del D kit that I talk about a lot. I love this wallet and um, I think that's what people are most curious about is what I keep in there. And I do have uh, a video of my previous setup linked down below if in case you're wondering. So you can check that out. It was just like a quick little check in with what I keep in there. And then everything that I mostly reach for, um, I guess at the moment, um, what I currently like to just grab and journal with is in here in this Delphonics utility pouch. Um, so I think I'm just going to go through what uh, is in here first. I get a lot of questions, a lot of questions, a few questions about what kind of pins I have on my pouch. And I have a Marika Paz um, little badger fairy pin. I love this little guy. Um, I've got a Mr. Rogers trolley on here. A Conan pin. I think it was actually the free one that they were giving out um, when I saw him live. He's my favorite comedian. Happy Fries, and some library-related pins that I got from Out of Print. That website is really awesome if you're very much into literary-related things. So the bookmobile, the date stamp, and then the library card. And then over here on the zipper portion of it, I've got two little Happy Food keychains. This is when Barnes & Noble used to sell them, and you can buy them in little mystery packs. I had a huge collection of those. I still have them um, and I like to switch them out but uh, my favorite are the breakfast foods. So I have that on there and then right on this little bit here I've got my little mini traveler's notebook. One of these days I'm actually going to get around to actually put in the uh, paper for the notebook. And then back here if those of you who are Mystery Science Theater 3000 fans um, and those are the two little robots. Um, so this has in the back two pouches. I don't use them. They're a little too low for me. Um, and I usually have this, I don't know, fairly stuffed enough. So, uh, I don't really need to utilize these two pockets. Back here, I have, I just refill an old pack of wet wipes, uh, four clean enough stamps. I don't keep a full pack in there just because it gets a little bulky. There are multiple pouches out here in the front. I usually keep my scissors in this pouch when I'm at home. If I go to a cafe or something, I'll stick it into the pouch uh, pockets in there. Nothing in this one. Here I've got an extra cord for charging my phone. Uh, two fountain pens, my blue Lamy, and that's... Oh, I think ran out. I actually have to clean it out. Um, I forgot to do that. And then I've got my Eco Twisby that's got the Jane Austen ink in here. A fine tip Sharpie pen that I use for writing on trace paper. A silver gel pen. I always like that to have that on hand because I kind of use that as like subtle journaling. Two Stabilos. I do find I like to journal with the brown and the gray also for, um, you know, subtle notes on the side of photos and things like that. I have this Jelly Roll Metallic Silver. I'm currently using this. It's actually almost done. And then my favorite pencil, the Blackwing Original with the cap on it. I'm getting back into using pencils. So this is, I want to say pretty full. For those of you who are wondering, you can fit your traveler's notebook in here if you don't fit 
um, if you don't fill it up. I tend to have it, I don't know, full enough so I don't keep my traveler's notebook in there. I don't like to have it um, keep pulling it out. There are two side pockets here and then two pockets back here. And I've got the Westcott Titanium scissors. So this is what usually just kind of sits right here so I can grab them easily. I like that this is a small pair. And then there's nothing down there. Um, some various washi cards that I like to use currently. These tend to switch out depending upon my mood. And then I also have my favorite date stamp. Use that all the time. A glue stick and a lip balm just because I always have to have lip balm on me. I have one of these collapsible bowls. I use that as like my little to-go garbage can for sticker flake backings and things like that. And then in this little cloth pouch that I got I think on clearance, major clearance uh, during Christmas in the taller target spot section, I carry all of my favorite stamps right now. So currently it's this one. Most of these are from AliExpress. This was from like a Heidi Swap uh, coffee set or something like that. And here's a duck. A cat one. Yeah, most of these are AliExpress. Some abstract ones. So this actually fits quite a bit in another cat one. And this one reminds me of my old cat, so I really like that one. All right, I'm not gonna bother putting everything in there, but that pouch holds all of my current stamps. I've got a bunch of little paper bits from a lovely Patreon that I had subscribed to. So I like to just keep all of that on hand so I can just kind of rifle through it, through the envelopes. I have some printables from Sue's Fish that I want to use. This pouch um, I got from a Korean pop-up shop in Nordstrom in Washington a while back and it perfectly fits all of my little Soramame inks. So I've got three sets in there. Like it fits it perfectly and I love that for it. I've got a fun glassine envelope as well as stickers that I want to use, some journal printables that I have from Studio Calico when they were having their big digital sale, as well as some free ones from um, Tiffany Julia, um, her website Ariel Lovely, and then some larger vellum sheets my Daiso little, um, it's supposed to be for music paper, but you can use it to clip your uh, traveler's notebook open. Uh, more stickers, some photos, stickers I'm trying to use up, and then I pulled out some Valentine's Day themed ones just because it's getting close to that time. And that all fits back here. And then I have a little pouch full of like little bits that I've torn off that I want to use. Um, some more stickers, vintage music paper, papers, paper bits. It's always paper bits. I love these little um, plastic zip pouches. I use them all the time for everything. Um, and then in this pocket here, I keep a tin full of various sticker flakes and larger sticker things and you know little cards and things like that as well as some more journal cards ones that I've printed out from those digital printables and then in this pocket I just have my little Heidi Swap tiny attacher I love this thing so as you can see it fits quite a bit I actually have room um, for more things, if you can believe it, if I really wanted to, but, um, I, I try not to overstuff it too much. And honestly, if I'm really just not feeling it, I can take out the ink and I will just pick out certain colors that I want. 
um, or I'll just simplify the stamps. The stamps and the ink really bulk it up the most, but when I really want to lighten this up, that's what I tend to take out, and then I'll probably take out this tin of things because I don't absolutely need it, but it's just things I like to kind of rifle through. So that's my utility pouch. And then this thing, I talk about it so much. I love it. I'm not sponsored. I feel like I have to say that because I talk about it so much, but I'm not. I just, I think out of all of the cases I have ever purchased in my life so far for journaling, this is my most favorite. It is the most functional. Obviously, it's definitely um, more compatible to how I use it, how I like to journal. So it might not work for everybody, but I love it. I got it on jet pens. So what it is, it just looks like a zip wallet. Um, it's about an inch thick and it pretty much is the size of a wallet. And I think you can definitely use it as such. But what I like about it is it pops up and it stays open like this. And here I've got pretty much my first tier journaling. So this is what I carry if I want a little bit more journaling um, supplies to use. So I'll bring my traveler's notebook and then this. And then if I really want more elaborate stuff, that's when my Delphonics pouch comes in. Um, so it's got a little pocket here, which I keep a pair of thin embroidery scissors. And that's what I use for cutting um, my double-sided tape, which I've rolled onto an old washi roll um, base. So that's what I do. I just take one of these bigger rolls and I just re-roll it when I need to refill it. I don't mind doing that. I just like having double stick tape on me. Lip balm, Jack Black. I'm just trying to use that up. Um, this is a Midori ruler. I like to use this against paper and then I can just kind of tear it, especially with that antique music paper. It's so fragile and crisp that it just it tears so nicely on that. So that's what I use for that. Sometimes it's nice to just have a straight edge. Um, back here, I keep a planner glue pen. It's like the last one in existence. Um, it's too bad that they no longer make these because this fits perfectly back here. <sighs> Had I known they were no longer going to make these, I would have stocked up. I've got various tins, three, and they're all just previous mint tins. And I have been guilty of just buying mint tins that I like or the size suits me and just throwing out the mint so I can use the tin. Um, you know what? If it functions for you, why not? Why not do that? In this one, I've got little Starbucks gift cards or like, you know, those like little keychain cards that you get from stores or restaurants. And uh, I've rolled some washi that I like to use often on here. This was one that someone sent me various stickers and things like that in here, printables. So that all fits perfectly in this one. I got this one because it was Van Gogh. Um, this one, Altoids, I've got all my little tiny sticker flakes and little things in here. So that's a fun one to go through. Great Cracker Barrel one. I liked it because it just uh, was a little wider and boxier. And in this one, believe it or not, I fit stamps. I have mini stamps in here. I've got a little Samiko Garashi one. I've got a whole, I've got a few boxed sets of these mini ones. So I can always switch it out with different ones, but the Polar Bear is my favorite. I've got this one. It looks like little, um, you know, arrows or triangles, but um, when you stamp it on, it kind of looks like hearts which I really like and that's why I carry that one around this one I got from a patreon I love that it's tiny I've got a tiny little acrylic block uh, block for those and then a, another little stamp and then in here I've got all my kitawashi in here so I just like to tear them off from various little booklets and Um, stick that in there and you know what I never thought I'd be able to really fit stamps in here with the amount of stuff that I've got but there it is I've got little stamps and if I really wanted to I could just empty out the kitta and like be able to fit other stamps in there so that's the bulk of what's in here and then I've got two of the Sora Mommy inks I just chose 
two of my favorite colors. I usually have a brown on me and then a blue. And that kind of sits back there. This is my contact information in case this get lo gets lost. Um, hopefully the Good Samaritan would return it because there's nothing of value in here, just sentimental and creative value. Some little egg sticky notes um, because I love breakfast foods. Uh, larger stickers that don't really fit anywhere. I just have them kind of sitting on top. Um, really, they could just go into this little bag that I got from Daiso. And in here, I've just got various stickers and bits, paper. So a bit more of a robust um, supply of things that my traveler's notebook might not be able to carry. And so all of that fits very nicely in here like that. I can't speak highly enough of this case. If I could just say if this is my most perfect case, I would say I would agree with that statement. It would it's my favorite case. And there we have it. So second tier journaling, third tier journaling, that's what I pretty much go for. I don't often get to sit at my desk to journal and so this is what I have on hand. If I go to the cafe, this is typically what I carry. If I'm journaling downstairs watching TV while my husband and I are just hanging out, this is pretty much what I grab and always reach for. So I hope that gives you insight on what I like to carry, what I like to use, what my favorite cases are, and it gives you some, maybe some ideas on how to set it up if uh, you're looking into either of those um, pouches. So if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.